Hello, I'm Sean Jones. Welcome to your week in tech. So, it's been a huge week for fundraising in London, with hospitality firm One Fine Stay topping the list by securing a $40 million Series D round, bringing the company's capital raised to date to more than $80 million. Ad tech firm Captify Media has secured almost $12.5 million in Series B funding from Smedvig Capital. Now, the money is going to be used to develop its search intelligence technology and accelerate international expansion. Lifestyle app Velocity, which allows users to split their restaurant bills and earn rewards using their phone, has secured a $12 million Series A financing round. Big data analytics solution provider Flytext has closed an $11 million funding round to finance its next phase of growth in which the company plans to double its team. Personalized children's storytelling startup Lost My Name has secured a $9 million Series A round led by Google Ventures. And finally, Moo, a London-based online print and design business, has secured a $4.7 million revolving credit facility from Barclays to support an increase in marketing and R&D spend. Cannes Lions, the international festival of creativity, came to a close last weekend. The Grand Prix for Innovation went to What Three Words, which is also a recent elevator pitch winner. They're mapping the world with a simple three-word address, giving a location to the world's millions of unaddressed people. Back on home soil, the three winners of Richard Branson's Pitch to Rich have been announced. Just Park is helping people rent their spare parking spaces, Forex is making physical currency exchange easy, and Kinemo are developing high-tech ad tech. This week, Barclays launched three contactless payment devices to help their customers buy everyday items more easily. So rather than embedding a virtual card in an app, Barclays wants users to put a sticker on the back of their phone, carry a key fob or wear a wristband. Barclays is one of the only UK banks that opted out of Apple Pay, which is due to launch in a month. It remains to be seen whether these bolt-on solutions will really fly with 21st century consumers. Now, our download of the week is Expensify. Expensify helps people to record and store their expenses. Simply take a photo of your receipt, and then Expensify categorizes and stores it based on the type of purchase. The app has a feature that allows you to track time, very handy for calculating your pay for the hours you've worked, and also enables you to export expenses and send invoices. Expensify is available on download now on both iPhone and iPad. And finally, the crowd is coming to the aid of heavily indebted Greece. 29-year-old Yorkshire man Tom Feeney has set up a crowdfunding campaign to help Greece pay its latest debt to the International Monetary Fund. He says that if every European gave just three euros, then they'd smash the $1.6 billion target. Although, of course, this only represents a fraction of the money that Greece owes to creditors. For the pleasure of lending a hand, you will receive some delectable Greek goods like a bottle of ouzo. This has been your week in tech. Thanks for watching and for more check out Tech City News and do follow us on Twitter.